everyone and today we're gonna be building the ultimate vista pc it's gonna be that average gaming pc from that time period you know here we have the motherboard it's a p something p p p5 k p, p, p that sure it has only two ram slots but that doesn't really matter i even since i even got the ioshi with it which is quite rare for uh, uh, such an old motherboard. I cannot disconnect this SATA cable. I'm sorry about that. Next thing is gonna be this Core Studio E6300, which is the first Core Studio to be ever released. It's from 2006. And I think it's gonna be nice for this build. It's just a standard Core Studio. I could have used an E8400, but that's more, I would say a better mid-end build, which this isn't gonna be. This is just gonna be a standard Core Studio build. So yeah, that's the that's the CPU. Next that we got is, or at least are, are these two sticks of, uh, each one of them is one gigabyte, they're DDR2, and I think they're clocked at 1066. I think it's 1066. So that should work really nice in this motherboard. Let me see. Yeah, 1066. I know, yeah, you cannot read it here, but it says 1066. For Vista, it should be plenty of RAM, I think it's, enough for a build. I could have gotten eight, I could have gotten four, but I don't think this motherboard even supports eight. So I'll just do two since that's like the standard configuration for back then. Next thing we got is this 9600 GT from, what is this, Lead Tech? Yeah, Lead Tech. This thing isn't that fast. You can see that it's very dirty. I don't really bother cleaning it. I've just changed the thermal paste on it, that's all before thing is a really big pain to take apart and then put back put back together i don't know why it didn't look like it but it but it really is this is gonna be the, the gpu that we're gonna be using i'd say it's gonna be a really good gpu for the, this build because i mean this this motherboard of course has a pc a pcie i think this is a pcie 2 gpu if i'm not wrong so it shouldn't really should, it should work really nicely in this build it has enough vram so hopefully it's gonna be good i hope so next thing we got is this stupid random is this an i don't know what green power is i think it's from S fsp yeah fsp uh, it's 400 watts and uh it doesn't have a six pin connector which the gpu needs so i had have one of these adapters there it shouldn't burn my house down so should be good should just be enough for this build then we got this 250 gig hard drive it is from uh it really is from 2012, which you know, that's Windows 7 era. I'd say it should be good. It should be good for this build. It's just a random hard drive I grabbed off the shelf. Then we got the classic Intel stock cooler. I think this is from like the Celeron. I don't know. It's good enough. Then we of course got thermal paste and an Arctic MX4. What else would you need? The case is this one, a gigabyte case. It should be an okay case for this PC. It's just a small flat. Uh, SFF case that yeah I think you can see it's not actually that big it's basically long as a 360 an Xbox 360 and it's it doesn't take up much space but yeah there, that's my yellow light of death PS3 and you can see it's not much bigger the case itself so yeah I hope you can see it at least a little bit all right I'm using a random a mic stand as my as this tripod for my uh, phone so hopefully it doesn't fall off like it did before when I was recording that PS2 video I made before. So let's do this. Uh, I cannot do it one handed. It's, uh, it's so dumb. Okay, there we go. We open this this thing. Okay, so I am okay. Am I? I am. Yeah. So that's just how we put the CPU in. We move this. We just do that. And let's okay. And you're done with the CPU. I, my thermal paste application isn't the best. I just do whatever, you know, it's a core to do. I, I can get an error one for really cheap. So if something happens to this, I don't really care. Let's, let's put this in. Uh, I, I kind of forgot how to put these in. Cause there's so, some of these are, yeah, you just push it in. Is it on? This one isn't. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, it's in. You can see now. CPU uh, fan connector. There we go. So that's out of the way. Okay. You saw the click. You just click it in. 
and both of the latches should be in. There we go. You can see it right here. I haven't put one in the PC in a while, so I'm gonna be. This is. Oh, oh, my phone is gonna fall if I do that one more time. It should be in. Okay, so I got it. I got it set up. I got all the cables, I moved everything. Everything should work. If it doesn't, I'm gonna be here for a while because troubleshooting this thing is a pain, but yeah. I'm gonna go plug it in. I got everything set up this PC, this monitor, because this is like a similar era monitor. I got it. a similar era keyboard. So we need this for, you know, internet and everything. Flip the switch, turn on the monitor. I, we hear stuff. We have this play. We have this play. Delete. Intel Core 2 Duo. New CPU installed. F1. Yeah, say the one. You got the time right. Yeah, two gigabytes of RAM. Amazing. BIOS is very old. Damn. Okay, so. Urban Store. Let's do this one. Windows is loading files. We're loading into the setup now. Okay, well I'm back. So that took a while. I had to choose a different USB and everything. It was a pain. I had to do different ISOs and everything, but I found one that works now. So let's just type my name in there. There we go. Uh, press PC, yeah, sure. This one fits this PC the most, so yeah. Next, ask me later, because we don't want that. It seems that our PC has loaded. So show more details. Core 2 Duo. Oh yeah, one in. That is weird, but okay. So, I'm back after a few hours, like uh, like two hours. That's how long it took me to get everything working. And yeah, I got Minecraft here. So, let's try it out. Let's see how it runs. Okay, okay, I don't know why it gave me a skin. Interesting. I'd say it's running fine. This is pliable. Made, made this PC. I mean, it's running. We can build, we can craft, we can, yeah, we can build, I mean, hey, I'm happy with that. Next thing I want to try is the internet. I have super medium here, this thing, and I haven't tried it out yet. I wonder if it's going to work. I'm not sure if this is going to work on this stuff. I know that it per like a similar version used to work on XP. Oh, it opened. Keep in mind, this is it. 18 year old CPU, 2 gigs of RAM, and a 16 year old GPU. So, I guess it as default. Can we go to google.com slash at 255s? That's the channel. Oh, here we go. This works. This works completely fine. Let's we'll see how the video will play. This is actually fine. Well, I mean, 360p, yeah, but it's kind of struggling with 720. 720p playback isn't the best. It works. Okay, it kind of works. I'd say this is pretty good. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and hopefully I'll see, see you again. The next video is going to be involving this bad boy again, but it's going to be kind of special. I hope you're looking forward to seeing that one. Okay, see ya. Bye-bye.